Hi everyone, we've got some exciting news today. I've just released the most amount of content I've ever released in a single day. There are 10 new free resource packages for you to download and add to your collection. And as well as this, there's also 10 paid artistic packages which you can dissect and adapt for your own work. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you a quick rundown of all the new things you can get your hands on. So first of all, after watching this video, if you head on over to curtisholt.online forward slash store, you'll see a new web page I've set up. On here, you will see new resources, and there's a collection of all the resources you can now download. 10 of these are free, only one of them is paid, which is the rate base character models, which is $5. The only reason this is paid is because it took a bit more time to set up. But we've got other things here like lighting templates for characters, my default theme and startup file, emissive lighting demos and template objects. There's an atmospheric setup for your scene. We have my hard surface shader test ball for testing out different types of materials on a hard surface object. Then we have procedural surface imperfections. This one actually goes along with a previous video I did. Then I have a grain generator, assorted material experiments, copper and gold foil, and my node group tools. So there's a ton of free stuff here for you to download and dive right into. You'll also see if you scroll down, there's a new art file section, and these are basically a collection of my completed and kind of experimental art projects, things that you would have seen in previous videos. Now, previously, these files were only accessible on a certain tier of my Patreon, but what I've done this month is move all the exclusive content off of Patreon and onto Gumroad, so it's accessible to more people. So that's what we're seeing here. All of these art files are $5 each, but if you stick around, I'll have an extra something a bit later on to help you get some money off. Now you might think, okay, so all this content has moved from Patreon to Gumroad and it's now available, but what about all the people that were paying for exclusive access on Patreon? Well, I've given them some extra benefits. So now not only do they get access to all of these packages for life, for free, but they will also get free copies of every single paid product I upload for the next year. So that's from this month until June 2022. Which means there's a couple of lucky people that paid $5 right before this change happened that now have like a year's worth of free content, so well done. <laughs> So let's take a look at these in more detail. We'll start off with the free ones. So this is stuff that you don't need to pay for. You can just download it, have fun right away. So we'll start off by taking a look at the character lighting templates. So basically, if you've made a character and you're terrible at lighting, you don't know how to do all this free point stuff with all this rim lighting and making it look fancy, just download these resources. There's a bunch of templates there. It's all contained inside of one blend file. Basically, you can enable and disable different collections for color variety. There's some control for the volumes and it's all outlined pretty easily, pretty simply. So yeah, download this, shove your character in there, make something pretty. Next up, we have Kurt's defaults. So this contains my startup file and my theme. Now I know last year or the year before I uploaded my previous startup file, which a fair number of you downloaded, but that became outdated pretty quickly and the one on Patreon was actually kept much more up to date. So if you want to see what my startup file looks like when I start making content, or if you want to use my dark and a bit more vibrant blender theme, then feel free to download. Next up we have emissive lighting demos. Now I like the idea of doing a package where you could have some pre-made objects which you could just copy and paste into your scene that would give you some interesting lighting in the same way that people put up a ring light when they're recording. So there's a collection of demos here with pre-made objects which you can slot into your scene. Although just keep in mind because this is based around emissive lighting, this is more designed for cycles, but I think there are some elements which could transfer over to EV as well. Because I think the SSGI add-on for EV supports emissive lighting, or even if you wanted to bake down the lighting from cycles to EV, then that would also be viable. Next up we have this atmospheric setup for EV scenes. Now you would have seen this with the looper sculpt video, I believe. And it also acts as a follow-on from a video I did about creating beautiful atmospherics in EV, which was a Sketchfab sponsored video. So if you want to put your own content in here, maybe you've made some kind of character again or something that looks cool, you can remove the sphere, put your own model in there and just have it presented nicely in an atmospheric scene. And you can modify the parameters for all of the volumes as well. Next up, we have the hard surface shader ball. So this is an object that I made when I was making my hard surface stylized material pack. So basically it's just an object which I can use, which has some harsh angles on it to preview different types of procedural materials. So I figured there's no reason not to make this available to other people. Maybe you want to test your own materials on it. So now we have procedural surface imperfections. This package goes along with another video I did where I basically talked about the same subject, how to make these kinds of imperfections procedurally. So there's different types of demos in here. You can take a look at the preview images to see what kinds of effects you can get. So by dissecting this, you'll probably learn a bit more about nodes and learning how to make different kinds of surface effects. So next up, we have the grain generator. This is a bit of a stranger one because obviously you spend so much time trying to reduce noise from your renders, but sometimes for a nice artistic effect, you want to kind of add a bit of noise back in afterwards. Now, typically, if you wanted to do that, you'd want to use something a bit more film grainy. And I think Syncretic has a tool for getting a nice effect like that in Blender. 
But to the untrained eye, I don't think it really matters exactly what type of grain you use much. So I've made this blender file, which basically lets you get a consistent grain coverage across the screen. And there's some easy adjustable parameters. And I've also prepackaged in a bunch of pre-rendered out grain files. So if you wanted to, you could overlay them over your renders and you know make them look a bit more cinematic or whatever. Next up, we have assorted materials. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. I just did a bunch of material experiments when learning how to make procedural materials. And I thought, well, why not share them with people? So here they are. Up next we have the copper and gold foil. So when I was working on the modular metals package or basically doing experiments beforehand to see whether it would be viable, I made a few different types of basic materials and these are a couple of them. So these are available for free. So these are nowhere near as complex as the ones that are actually in the modular metals package, but these are good demonstrations for how you could start building your own versions of those materials out if you wanted to. Now next up, and this one might be a bit more technically useful for people, especially shader gurus, I have my node group tools. So when making procedural materials, I realized that there were a few things I was doing repeatedly again and again, and I was getting a bit annoyed of having to make all these links and all these different nodes for these repetitive tasks. So I've got a collection of different node groups here that will help me build materials at a faster pace. So first of all, there are multiplier boards. So the idea behind this one is to simplify having different scales for different procedural textures change appropriately. So maintaining their proportions between each other by changing just a single value. So it's multiplicative. Then there are node groups for quickly getting the AO and edge values. So instead of having to use the bevel node and go through all of these methods to get like the edges of objects, especially in cycles, you can just use the get edges node. So you can change the radius value to define how far from the edge of an object we want to get the mask. And then we can use that mask as an output to basically create more reactive materials. So this would be good for doing things like edge wear. And there were some situations when I was building procedural materials where I wanted to get both edges and AO from an object very quickly. So there's a node for doing that as well. And if you knew that you wanted to feed the AO or edges through a color ramp of some kind, then I have the AO range board and edge range board. So this is basically like plugging in a map range after getting the AO or edges. So this is all just contained within one node. It's easy to restrict the values of them and get those masters outputs. Then we have noise H and noise S. So there's one little tip that I know a lot of procedural material builders use for getting interesting looking surfaces. And it's to take like a noise texture and pass it through a separate HSV node because the H and the S produce some pretty interesting results. And if I was gonna be using that quite a lot, I thought, well, there's no point making two nodes every time. So let's just package it into one. And then finally, we have a mix board, which is quite self-explanatory. It just mixes two things together with the mix RGB nodes. So yeah, feel free to download these tools. I may add to them over time as I come up with new techniques to speed up my material creation workflow. So taking a look at the art files, these are things that you would have seen if you've stuck around this channel for a little while. I think my second to last video was about rendering tips and cycles, and that's where this Edge Vibes one came from. So if you want to take a look at that file, then you can go and grab that now. But there's a note that any external assets used in these artworks are not included in the package. Then taking a look back, you can see some of my other architectural experiments. Then we have the symmetry identity artwork, which I did a breakdown for as well. Then we have the animated hate comment diorama, which is from the video I made art from hate comments. So this is the entire animated file. So you can play it all back and see how it was made. Then we have the bad parking slash the prototype artwork. So there's actually two pieces of artwork in here. There's the original prototype UFO model and scene. And then there's the actual bad parking artwork, which was made for the end of photogrammetry video. So the one about LiDAR. And I think that video has actually passed 850,000 views now, which is crazy to think about. Then we have my looper sculpt artwork. So if you want to see my very poorly made textures over some terrible topology, then go ahead. Then we have my sci-fi corridor doodle because I love making sci-fi corridors. They're just such cool things to make. And I would also call this the first in the garden chair series because if you look very carefully, you can see a little bit of a garden chair, which also reappears in the bad parking artwork. Look, Gleb has his rubber ducky. I have my garden chair. And then the other two are more architectural experiments which have appeared in previous videos as well. Now coming back up to the top, the first resource here is the $5 rigged base character models. Let's take a look at those quickly. So this is a package I've added more to over time. They originally started off as just a few of the base characters back here, and they were quite poorly made. There was no IK. Over time, I added IK versions of the rigs, so they're easier to pose. And then I also more recently made this kind of human base character model, where I finally gave it a bit of a face, not really animatable, and some toes. <laughs> Now I made this one $5 because it did take a bit more time to put together when compared to the other resources. So that's all the stuff that's available. There's 20 packages in total that have been added. 10 of them are free and 10 of them are paid. But because you've stuck around for this long, I'm going to let you know that there's a special code I've added, which is DROP. And if you use this within the first week of this video going out, then you can get 50% off all of the paid products there. So that means 50% off the rig based character models and all of these art files. So feel free to go and download all the free stuff. Go and have fun with it. Show me stuff you make with it and just let me know what you think. Have fun. 
I know that a lot of people are going through a difficult time right now, so just enjoy yourself and hopefully some of these resources will help you to make something cool. So thanks for watching, have a great day, have fun, and I will see you next time. I made it, go. Go and download all the stuff, it's free. It's free, it's literally right there, go. Why are you still watching the video? Just grab it, go and grab it, have fun. What? Why are you still listening to me?